okay, y'all, I have not made a video on YouTube for a long time because I've been busy. Um, I am back on the road, over the road, and I wanted to make a little video about trying to eat healthy on the road. I've been, I'm at a pilot right now, and I'm um, on a break. Just took a shower. And I posted some still videos the other day. My voice is a little scratchy because I'm recovering from bronchitis. Anyway, so the other day I posted some still pictures about paying for parking at TA and having a salad there because, you know, trying to eat healthy, it's so hard. And it cost me like $10, $11 for this crappy salad, which was not even good. And so um, today I came to the pilot to see if I could get some snacks for the truck to hold me over that are not filled with sugar. And and um, so these are the, some of the things that I came up with and I wanted to show you because I know a lot of people are trying to figure out how to eat good on the road and it's expensive. So what I'm trying to tell you is... <clears throat> Even if you ha are forced to buy this stuff at Pilot, which it cost me $22, um, $22.13 for this stuff, but you could get it somewhere else cheaper if you know what you're looking for. So that's kind of what I'm trying to help you out with. These are um, new from Oscar Mayer. They're called portable protein packs. They have 200 calories. They have some nuts in them. Less than one gram of sugar. These are really good if you're starting to get a headache because you haven't eaten. It has a little cheese, a little nuts, if you can eat nuts, and a little bit of the meat. It doesn't have crackers, which is white flour, so that's good. These are tuna packs. They're 70 calories per cup. They don't have the crackers either, which come in the Charlie, the tuna ones. And those are 260 calories, somewhere around there. My first year of driving, I lost 60 pounds because I ate tuna packs at lunch and I had the salad with grilled chicken at McDonald's. Um, more and more places are having the salads now and you get a piece of grilled um, chicken, not the fried chicken, grilled. Um, so anyway, they have this at Pilot, two of them, and they're made, and just don't try to not do the crackers. These are um, antioxidant. They say they're five calories. You have to look at the labels of these things, though, and see still, is there sugar in it or not? It has one sugar, and it has five calories. So you have to read and make sure, and carbohydrates, and um, all of those things, you know? <clears throat> hard boiled eggs. I put a post up about this. We have like a, on the women truckers network, real women in trucking, we have a little health group and I was put something up about hard boiled eggs. Sometimes I really want an egg in the morning and um, I can't have them fried or scrambled because I'm on the run, but they always sell these at all the truck stops. I take the egg, egg yolks out. Um, some people say the egg yolks, new technology or new um, science, the egg yolks aren't really that bad. They're good cholesterol, but I already have high cholesterol. I'm hereditary, have high cholesterol, so I take the egg yolks out. There's a good article on Live Strong um, about eating hard-boiled eggs. This was $6 <laughs> at Pilot, but I'm sure you can find it cheaper somewhere else. But it was a good snack um, that I could find in there. When I'm, you know, in between, um, it doesn't have too much sugar and there's four servings in there. So it's something that's crunchy, um, that I can eat while I'm driving instead of eating chips or some other kind of crap. And then I did splurge on these Fig Newtons. Like if I really wanted to have cookies, I'd eat like an entire box of chocolate chip cookies. But I got these just in case I get like a really sugary, um, craving sugar or something. And I'm going to try to behave myself. But I didn't get a whole box. I only got a couple. So anyway, that's that. Um, if I went to Costco or Walmart, I would try to find some of these things while I could um, that are cheaper, that I could get in bulk, especially at Costco, where I could get a box of like, you know, 36 or a case and then take a little bit with me at a time. All right. So I hope that helps. We're trying to talk more about health. 
Visit realwomenintrucking.org. You can find out about when we have recorded conference calls about health and uh, lifestyle. We're also planning a cruise for women truckers. So check us out on our website or on our Facebook, realwomenintrucking.org. And I'm back on the road, so I'm going to be trying to make more videos and taking pictures. Okay, be safe out there. Bye-bye.